Corey, what is our third main topic today? Uh, third topic, Yale N writes, Hi, John. I know you've been saying for a long time now that Lion King was going to be a monster at the box office, but did you see the first projection numbers that just came out for it? They're basically saying it's going to have a bigger opening weekend than Avengers Infinity War. I never would have thought that possible. Do you think these numbers are way too optimistic, or do you really think it could be that big? All right, so for those of you who are missing out, there's a couple of different sets of numbers that have been coming out right now. We've all known for a while that Lion King is going to be huge. We know it's going to be big. There are two different sets of projection numbers come out. One that's being reported is between 180 and $230 million. That's, that's a big gap, whatever. But I'm also hearing that Disney's internal tracking right now is putting anywhere between 220 and $265 million. If those numbers hold up, let's put this in context a little bit. Now, of course, the brand new opening weekend box office record, which is not going to be touched for a while, not for a little while, is Avengers Endgame at $357 million. What's key, though, here is that Avengers Infinity War, which broke the opening weekend record last year, it sits at $257 million. And, of course, we got Force Awakens at $247, Last Jedi at $220, and Jurassic World at $208. If Lion King were able to come in at a number that, say, was more reflective of the Disney's internal projections, like somewhere around 220 to 265, it could get 260, 261, 262, whatever. We are talking about Lion King actually having a bigger opening weekend than what Avengers Infinity War did, which is absolutely astronomically huge. Now, I know there are going to be some people that are going to say, well, John, Endgame projected 280 and it opened at 350. So if they're projecting 250 for Lion King, it's going to open over 300. That was rare. That that doesn't happen often. 95% of the time, the, the projections usually come within about 5% uh, of what the box office actually ends up being normally. There are exceptions. Endgame was a huge one, obviously. I wouldn't expect Lion King to have that sort of a massive gap between what the projection numbers are and what the overall number is. So I wouldn't expect that kind of a gap. But even if it doesn't, this is huge. Rob, let me ask you the question that they just asked us. Do you think these numbers could actually hold? Could we see Lion King open in that 220, 230, 250, 260 million dollar range? And do you think ultimately maybe it could top Infinity War? Well, you and I have talked about this, that this movie is a juggernaut. And we've speculated that it could even do 200 or $2 billion. Yeah. I think it could. I, I think a $250 million opening weekend is not out of the realm of possibility, especially after we saw Avengers Endgame open to $350 million, or what, three fifty seven. Everyone loves Lion King. I mean, Lion King has... Talk about a four-quadrant film. It, it was the animated movie. It was then, of course, the Broadway show that I loved. Uh, everybody loves Lion King. You've got 25 years of brand recognition behind this movie. It's one of the most beloved Disney animated classics, certainly probably their greatest modern classic. And I think that, man, I wouldn't bet against this movie to I don't think it's gonna do I don't think it's gonna surpass Endgame. I don't. Oh, of course not. No. Because you know what? It's it's you're not going to get the the 16 to 25 year olds to come out for Lion King as much as they were going to come out for Endgame, I don't think. And probably the 50 year old geeks like myself, same thing. But I really want to see this movie. I love Favreau's Jungle Book. Oh yeah, I, I loved it more than I thought I was going to love it. And and this movie, after what we saw at CinemaCon, the clips they've they've released, I'm dying to see this movie. I think this movie's going to be next level. I think this movie's going to be huge. I think it's going to be the second bis biggest movie of the year. I, I think it's going to be surpass Star Wars. I think it's going to be Disney is going to make if they make two billion dollars off this. That's a studio that made two two billion dollar movies in a summer. I, I can't even imagine. You know, I know from our uh, squash game and our, our our lunch yesterday at Jeffrey's in Malibu that Bob <laughs> Iger is very excited about this movie. So he's 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 already sitting there, you know, feeling his wallet. He knows it's going to get fatter as the uh, summer goes by. Can you? We're talking about the first of all. There's only been a small handful of $2 billion films in history. We're talking, they could have two $2 billion films in one year. I, I don't think Frozen is going to get there. I don't think Star Wars Episode Nine is going to get there. I don't think Toy Story 4 is going to get there. But it is possible they can get two on this. So let me ask you, Rob, straight up. Buy or sell? This, this is our buy and sell question of the day. Lion King will top Infinity War opening weekend box office. Buy or sell? A sell. You're going to sell? You know what? I think it's going to get close, 
but I'm going to sell it also. And that brings me to the buy and sell question of the day for you guys. Listen, I want to know, do you buy that Lion King will actually top Infinity War? I think it's going to be real close, but I think it's going to come a little bit short. Go to my Twitter account, simply at John Campia. You'll see the buy or sell question there today. Hit the response and we'll visit the responses here just a little bit later in the show.